Hello everyone. So this is going to be a video about uh, configuring your Emacs from the scratch. So let me. So if you can see that I have some init files and all. So in order to do it from scratch, we need to make it the scratch, right? So let's delete everything here. It doesn't find anything and as you can see I don't have any dot emacs or anything so there is no configuration as such so so this is gonna be the basic start uh, file for this if you are new to emacs so you'll, you won't have any configuration and this will this will be the starting screen anyway so what we're gonna do is first I would like to create one okay so this I think has been for the auto save files and also dot emacs it created created by default as you can see and let us just create the init.el and .org file so let me open these two I would rather make it vertical alright so as we can see that we have our org file for this uh, init file for this so what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna call this file and load only the dot emacs ellipse file ellipse on that. What I mean by this is first let me check that whether the org mode is there and org load uh, sorry org babel load file then here we'll have the file name and let's find file name let me just have it and like this now here this I'm going to So let me set up the variables. I'll set up some variables here to begin with. Now, begin SRC it needs to have a max lisp. And now, ending it. Now some of the things that I would do it first is I first remove this menu things because I never use this and this toolbars and the scroll bar. So these things I don't need so I'm going to remove them. Menu bar mode. So disable that. Then let me do one thing. It will be easier. So this is the toolbar. <sighs> Scroll bar mode. So this for this should remove the menu tool and scroll. Now let us test it. And it works pretty fine. Now next what we would like to have is uh, full screen 
So whenever it opens, it will open only in this window. So I would like to have it uh, toggled to the full screen. Okay. Now, this would be something that we can change later also because uh, each time it will do one thing, it will just toggle it. But anyway, as of now, that's fine. And there are two more things that I would like to do before closing it. Set queue. Inhibit splash screen, and that's gonna I'm gonna set. So this is the splash screen. I'm gonna set it to true to disable the splash menu that we have, and then set queue. So this is uh, whenever we open any file it will save as a backup and I'm gonna set it to nil so what it will gonna do is that if we just see here it will always do this backup file so I'm not gonna save any of those so I would probably have some version controlling to do the same thing but anyway and one more thing i like a lot is having a line number mode so so if i set this as just one this would just save it line number mode for the current buffer that's loaded but i want to make it for all the buffers that is there so global line number mode will be helping me for that so that's about it so let us just i'll do one thing i'll just close the it and let's open it okay so there's some issue in this uh, okay so function is not found for the global full screen mode but okay let's open that No. So I think to store Rogel frame full screen. Full screen we can do okay, I'll do one thing. So instead of that let's do the global maximized. So this will this should work like this. good to test it anyway so I'm gonna close it let's reopen it now you can see we have scratch buffers with this line number we don't have the menu we don't have the scroll bar we don't have the toolbar and backing up so let us test it that whether the back backup is still working or not I'm gonna do one thing R and star and then till there. So here I don't have it. Let me do one thing. Close it. Reopen it. Then let me just go to Emax in it. And you don't see the Emax in it having this till there anymore. So this proves that whatever the settings we tried it's working and that's gonna be the closing of this so i'm gonna periodically post it as we see and hopefully this will help you if you want to set your setting x on the first time okay thanks for watching